Uh, hey guys, welcome to another Details with Levi. Today, I got a 1940 Graham Hollywood Coupe. The legend is, was made for Mae West. We have this car here in our studio and we need to get this thing just washed, cleaned up. And we're gonna show you guys how to use Optimum wash and wax, as well as we're gonna be using uh, Optimum's instant detailer gloss enhancer. So a car like this that's free of debris and dirt and all that kind of stuff, it doesn't get driven a lot. It likes to sit and hang out uh, in the garage. So we're just gonna wipe the uh, excess dirt off and I'm gonna show you guys at home how to do it. So you're gonna follow me, we're gonna wash this sucker and uh, have a good time, hopefully. So O&R Wash and Wax is basically Optimum No Rinse with the added benefit of Optimum Car Wax. So it has all the benefits of the Optimum Car Wax, i.e. the uh, UV protectant in it, as well as the ease of application, meaning it's wipe on, wipe off. But it's mixed together with O&R. So you can use the same dilution ratio, which is one to 256, and put it in your uh, water bucket and mix it up and just wash the surface of the vehicle and at the same time, be waxing it. Uh, this is a great maintenance product. So uh, this is what I use personally at home when I wash my cars. Uh, they are both coated, um, they do uh, get washed weekly, but I find that this product works really well just in the every weekly maintenance wash uh, because you get the benefits of the wax within every wash. Um, also, it has a, uh, it feels slipperier, if that makes sense, because of the added wax. So this cap on the 32 ounce bottle is half an ounce. And again, with a dilution ratio of one to 256, that is one ounce per two gallons. We have four gallons of water in here, so we're gonna do four capfuls in here. So half an ounce per gallon. This stuff also smells like uh, green apple. Just rinse out my cap, set our stuff down, and then I like to stir it and mix it up. And we're gonna use our IK multi-sprayer. And the way we fill this guy up is we're just gonna set it in our bucket. Leave a little room for some air. And this is how we're gonna do a pre-soak. I like doing a pre-soak. It does not state it on the bottle. You can uh, do it without it. Just to be better safe than sorry, I love to do a pre-soak, uh, primarily because I find it breaks down the uh, dirt and and uh, particulates that are on the surface a lot easier, makes the surface a lot slipperier. Also, we're gonna be using Eagle 500s in the new red color, and we're just gonna throw those in. Those are gonna be our wash media. So we're just gonna let those guys soak in, the, in there. Give our IK pressure sprayer. That's how you know it's pressurized. And again, with this, you just wash top to bottom. And I'm gonna start just by washing the car, just getting the car sprayed down, nice and even. Get all that dirt taken care of. Get it encapsulated, get it emulsified. If you're working in direct sunlight, panel at a time, so Work on a fender, work on a hood, work on the roof, work on the, on the driver's side, passenger side. I like kind of giving it a little bit of overlap on the roof. That way when I come back to do the top half, I've already got liquid on there so I don't have to uh, add any extra. It just saves me a little extra time. So, now the way I like to wash, same properties as the big red sponge in the sense that you want the towel wet just to the point of dripping but not so wet that you're throwing water everywhere left and right so we're going to start right about there 
And again, I'm gonna work my way top to bottom. In this case, we'll just start on the hood to show you guys. I like making just nice, simple passes. No pressure. Letting the towel do the, do the majority of the work. And realistically, we are applying the LNR. We are not scrubbing anything off the surface. And we're letting those polymers do the work that they were designed to do, which is encapsulating and emulsifying the surface there, the dirt on the surface. Now we can set our towel back in our bucket. We can get a new one if we like, or we can reuse that same one if it's not too dirty. Now for those of you that want to do a two bucket method, go for it. Add another bucket with your rinse water and then add O&R into that bucket as well. This way when you dunk your media into the rinse bucket, you're not diluting your current batch of O&R that is your wash bucket. But we have a joke around here that two buckets, put one on either side of the car, it makes it easier. As you can see, this car is fairly clean, so I'm not getting any black residue on my towel. The other good thing about that is with the uh, longer nap, I'm not having that to worry. The particulates are getting pulled up into the towel. But realistically, the science on this product is designed to, again, encapsulate. So it's going to completely engulf those dirt particles on the surface. And then while it's inside that ionic cushion, it's going to emulsify it. It's gonna start breaking it down. Uh, to make it smaller and smaller and smaller particles. So therefore, when you go to dry it, those particles are riding on that ionic cushion as it's getting pulled up into your towel when you're drying the surface. So on a vehicle that's very clean, and I mean like as clean as this, you can literally just wash. Flip your towel a few times, maybe do the whole car with one towel on one side or two. In this case, we're using four towels. Um, because it's so clean on a heavily soiled vehicle, you should always pre-soak the uh, vehicle. If you need to bust out a hose, you're more than welcome to. Uh, rinseless wash means there is no final rinse, not anything to do with a pre-rinse. Uh, rinse it however you like the first time, whether it be a hose, a pressure washer. If you have no access to a hose, a pump sprayer works phenomenally. And a lot of guys use it that way. So. Let's move on to the other side. I can get pretty good at this in my garage where I start going on my vehicles, especially a coated vehicle, where I can wash the surface of my vehicle and about have it washed and dried in about 20 minutes. And for me, the biggest thing was I have a detached garage and I have little kids. And I like when they can come out to the garage and help me wash my cars. Um, and what I like about this product is that it's safe enough for them to touch and feel. There's no silicones in it. There's no harsh chemicals or anything like that. Everything's EPA certified. When I'm done, I can pour my bucket out on my wife's flowers and they look great. And they grow a little better, a little healthier. The biggest thing you want to remember is no pressure on the surface. You want to let the towel or your wash mitt or your sponge or whatever you're using do the work for you so that you limit the amount of pressure on the surface because it's the pressure points that you leave on the surface that are going to cause it to scratch. So if I'm going to push down and drag it across the surface, yes, there is a chance of marring, but when I'm being very delicate, very safe, flipping my towel. And again, working top to bottom, so I'm not taking the dirty dirt from the bottom and then putting it back on the roof or putting it on the side of the car, taking it and working my way down. And that's the same whether you're washing a car with soap and water 
uh, whether you're doing a waterless wash, any of those kind of things always work top to bottom. Um, I remember one day I thought it'd be good to wash a car with Comet. Uh, let me just say my dad was very upset at me. <laughs> but I also learned how to polish a car on that day <laughs> because of that mistake that I made. But again, I was a dumb 14 year old kid. Just thought, oh, I'm gonna get all this off the car and make it look nice. You're probably wondering what are we doing about that other side that's starting to dry. Well, the good news is because this is a polymer that we're applying to the vehicle, it's gonna dry into a polymer spot, not a water spot. So that means all we gotta do is re-wet the surface by spraying a little bit more O&R. We can do a spray bottle, you can do a multi-sprayer, and we can just dry the surface if it has dried. So the car's still wet with O&R. It's 52 degrees in here, which is one of the reasons I'm wearing a hoodie. Um, but we're gonna use Instant Detailer Gloss Enhancer as our drying aid. Uh, one, it's gonna add the, a little extra lubricity, which I like, but also we're gonna get the added benefit of the gloss enhancers that are uh, formulated into this product, which means we're gonna get an instantaneous uh, gloss pop, as I call it. Uh, also, we're gonna be using the Platinum Pluffle. Uh, because this car's platinum and well, it's a great drying towel again hybrid weave uh, Long nap with the waffle pattern in it basically our eagle edgeless towel our famous eagle edgeless and our dry me a river waffle weave got together had a baby and had the pluffle so Give it a little shake We're gonna give it a little spray on the car You can see as a drying aid it starts to cause the the water to that is beaded up And then I always like to prime our towels when we're using them. Some of you are probably wondering why I'm wearing a watch while I'm doing this. One, I like to know what time it is. But two, I've been doing this for 20 years. So I know where my hands are going to be. I know my muscle memory. This watch isn't going to come in contact with the paint at all. Also, if you're wearing a hoodie, just do this. It's very simple. Just cover it up if you're scared about it. I also have a wedding ring on. I love my wife. No reason for me to take it off when I'm detailing cars. Again, I've been doing it for 20 years and that muscle memory kicks in and your body's just not gonna let you harm the vehicle. Now at this point, if you wanna grab an extra towel and just go over it again with some quick detailer, touch up all your streaks, all your smears, any of your smudges, uh, you're more than welcome to because I mean if you're like me and you get a little OCD and you want to chase those streaks You need to to properly finish the job, but I know what you're thinking wheels are next Well, we're gonna do those off-camera because they're multi-spoke and I don't know about you But those take a long time and nobody wants to watch me clean those wheels. So again guys this was a 1940 gram Hollywood. Less than 1800 of them were made and this is the only limousine in existence and it was owned by Mae West. If you don't know who she is, Google her. Uh, basically though I just wanted to show you guys how to do a proper wash and wax with O&R wash and wax because I know we haven't done one in a long time but this is how I wash a car every week in my garage at home is I use O&R wash and wax and I love using the instant detailer gloss enhancer by Optimum, which again is what we used on this just to finish it off, give it that pop. Those gloss enhancers really just bring this up a notch. So uh, next, I'll get on those wheels, but thank you guys for watching, hanging out with us, watching me wash this car. So for more videos, stay tuned right here on the Rag Company YouTube channel. And don't forget to share and don't forget to like it. Thanks guys.